Hey, what's going on guys? Well, this video is going to be for my friend Tex. If you guys saw the uh, unboxing video, he threw in a lighter, which uh, he got at a gas station. And uh, it said he was working great, and all of a sudden it started to crap out on him. It wasn't working at all. So he sent it to me, knowing that I'm into all kinds of lighters as well, uh, to see if I could fix it. He said I can go ahead and keep it, but I'll probably send it back since it is his lighter. And now that I fixed it, I just want to make a little video talking a little bit about it. First thing I did was uh, remove it from its case. There's basically a little screw here. And I removed the screw, but basically that right there is an adjustment knob, which Tex obviously scratched the case there trying to uh, adjust it. <laughs> but anyway, the, the little hole to the right there, that's where the screw was. That's all that's holding in the body. So now we can open it up. Looks like a little bomb or something. <laughs> but, uh,. Even though it looks a little complicated, it's actually pretty straightforward. So we have here, use a screwdriver, the pointer. We have the fuel fuel tank, which you can see I filled back up. It's not completely filled, but because I was doing a lot of testing with it. Uh, we also have the. This is what creates the spark when you push this down, and that this little black thing here. There's actually a wire in there, and the spark travels up here, and into the top. Okay. And it'll actually spark in here, which catches when the fuel is released as well. The other little um, tube here, this clear tube right here, is a direct fuel line into the uh, the back here. And actually, I have to get in real close to show you this. But if you could see, that clear tube connects directly with the the fuel tank here. Okay. So basically, what I realized after looking at this closely is when you first open the top, it actually lifts this up, which let me see if I can do this slowly to show you. As you open the top, look right here at this bar, which is connected to the hinge. So as you open this up, see how that lifts? And by lifting up, it's actually releasing fuel through this tiny little clear hose. And that in turn slowly leaks out of that hole to the left okay it's right well let's let this focus come on come on focus anyway it's right here not the main area it's the little hole right there to the left all right so you look at that right now with the lid open it's leaking fuel now the problem is that this will not light that by itself okay you can see i fixed the main main lighter so that we have a flame there it might be hard to see but perfectly fine windproof flame you can see it and you can hear it it's working fine now and i'll explain how i fixed it but when you let go of this that flame is actually supposed to light that and i'm going to use a different lighter here this is zippo mpl with the flexible neck you'll see whoop there we go you'll see that there's uh, supposed to be a regular flame. All right, so when you're not, when the thing is open after you light it, it goes to a regular flame. Here's your jet flame, and when you let go, it's supposed to go back to a regular flame until you close the lid, but it doesn't. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. I mean, where it's initially placed in here, it should work fine. The jet flame will always work, but in order to get that other flame to work, you have to actually hold it upside down so that when you let go, it will engage and light the fluid that is slowly leaking out of that little hole. So even though I fixed it to where it's going to work to light his cigarettes, it's not working 100% and it really is supposed to light that up uh, as well. Okay, you can see when that lid's open you'll constantly leak a little fuel there. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, the problem here is the first thing I look for when these lighters don't work is, A, is there fuel in there? Obviously, you can visually see, yes, there's there's fuel, and these take butane uh, butane lighter fluid, not the, the regular lighter fluid. So, yes, it had, had fluid. Next thing you want to ask yourself is, is it sparking? Okay, and obviously, if it's not lighting right away, you can look in the top there and see if when you push the button, and this is an electric lighter, you'll see if it's actually sparking. In this case, it's sparking and engaging every time. So that wasn't the issue. Then you want to make sure that there's actually fluid coming out of it. Now, when I held this up close to my ear with it open, you can hear it. 
it's well, I don't know if you would be able to hear it on camera, but I was able to hear the fluid come out, and that's because it was leaking out of this hole right here. That had nothing to do with the main part of the lighter. So looking further into it, I couldn't really figure out what it is. So what I usually do in this case is I'll unscrew the bottom of the the valve here for the main uh, fuel area, and I completely drained all the fuel out of it, and then put it back together and refueled it. And sometimes when you use cheap butane fluid, there's a lot of uh, you know other crap that's in it and you'll find that um, uh, sometimes it'll actually clog somewhere along the way it actually clogs up okay and it might sound like there's fuel there's fuel coming out but it never actually comes out therefore you'll get the just the sparking and nothing ever happens but now everything's fixed lighter works fine except for that secondary stage which of course should be um, lit like that so Anyway, interesting little uh, lighter. Like I said, he had uh, picked this up at a gas station somewhere along the lines, and you can see just from this demo how much fuel I used. You may be able to tell, but anyway, I used about half what's in there. So I'll fill this back up, and I'll give Tex the option of letting me keep it or sending it back to him. So I, I, I like little projects like this just to, uh, you know, things kind of look at things take them apart, see how they work, if they are broken, try to fix them. You know, basically the mechanics here, like I said, it might be a little intimidating when you open this up. It looks, like I said, like a little bomb or something. Um, but if you really just look at it and break down, it's a pretty simple design. You have fuel in here. By opening the lid and pushing the button down, or by opening the lid first, you're actually letting open the valve to let fuel get through. And then, of course, when you push the button down, it will spark that, the fuel vapors, and light. So, pretty simple concept there, but... Anyway, I wanted to make a video showing text that I did fix it for him. And I will um, put this back together and I'll refill it. And like I said, he'll have the option to to get it back if he if he wishes to. So anyway, that's all. Just want to make a little video there and explain it. If you guys have these butane lighters, they all pretty much work the same way. Fuel tank, some kind of a valve here, which opens up obviously when you need to use a lighter. And a lot of these are electric. And this little piece here, if you've gotten little electric throwaway lighters before, when the lighter's all done, I used to, when I was a kid, I used to take these out and actually used to spark my friend's arms and stuff in the middle of, middle of like math class, which was uh, totally the wrong thing to do. I should have been doing my work instead, but I was very amused by that. <laughs> when you take these out of the lighters, even if the lighter's dead, I'm not talking about this because this is refillable, okay? But if you have like a, a Bic even makes a, an electric lighter, where instead of actually using a wheel and sparking, it's just a button, it just clicks. That's an electric lighter, and it works the same way. It has this piece in here, which when you when compressed together, it makes a little spark. And basically, a little black wire here, you'll have exposed metal at the end, and then you just kind of click it together, and it'll, it'll make a little spark. It's kind of like uh, the same power as uh, static electricity. All right, If you ever get a shock from walking across carpet and then touching a doorknob or something, it's like that. It's not going to hurt or anything, but it's a little shock. And it's kind of fun to play around with your friends, but I don't suggest you do that in school. I suggest you actually do your work so you can uh, learn a lot and get a good job and have a good life. But uh, anyway, that's what I did with my time. Unfortunately, I wish I could go back and do the right thing. But anyway, just a little tidbit there. Maybe after, after school, when you get out of school, you can uh, screw around with your friends and shock them. But that's pretty much it. Just wanted to make a video and show Tex his lighter. And I did actually clean up a little bit. It was dirty. That slob. Supposedly, uh, his car likes to eat lighters. Whenever he gets a new lighter, the seat just gobbles it up, and he loses it forever. I told him before he sells his uh, his car, he better rip that seat out and get all those lighters back. But anyway, that's it. That's my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something. Maybe you didn't. Either way, thanks for watching. Take care, guys.